So Sagittarius, I'm sitting here and I just finished doing a reading and while I'm definitely still in the mood and it's so funny, I had this Sagittarius candle burning. Not that the individual was a Sagittarius at all, but you know, I said, why not finish Sagittarius? So Sagittarius, this is going to be for January. So I'm going to put January on this. You could take, if you've never watched my readings before, they transcend time. I do not stick to time boundaries. Time is non-existent. You know, it's just what we need to measure, you know, our life path here. So I really don't stick to the boundaries of time, you guys, as you can tell by the frequency I deliver my readings. And I know I got some comments out there, so I'll definitely be getting back to the comments that are on the page. I like to respond to everybody. My goal, I mean, I don't just do tarot readings. My my theme is just spiritual advisement, coaching, and guidance. So just to talk to people, to respond back to you guys. As you, If you notice, if you go through my videos and my comments, I respond to everybody. I like to hear what's going on, what, you, what you're dealing with, what resonated to you in the videos, what did or what didn't, you know, because we all have issues. We all have problems. Nobody is perfect. So um, I really do like, and not everybody can afford to get a reading. Um, but, you know, I do like to talk to the people who watch the videos. So anyway, getting back to you, Sagittarius. I'm Madam X. Hey, welcome to Frequency Real Radio. Um, you're special this month because I'm on camera. And I, I have not been on camera in a while because the videos just seem to take so much longer to upload. But because I just did one for someone on camera, I, I figured, you know, I don't feel like going through the changes or switching to the audio, uploading this, that, and the other. So I'm just going to stay on camera right now. Oh, so I had a couple cards flip over. You guys know. And it's so funny. I'm getting a theme of what's going on. The card, Some of the cards that I used for this last reading, you kind of see me shuffling the deck. I've shuffled it a few times. I, when I put cards back in the deck, I only use one card. From, well, I used two cards because I did it in two different subjects. It was a really quick reading, so I only used two cards, and I see those same two cards kind of popping out. So, for 2017, Sagittarius, the thing for you may be structure. I know Sagittarius, it's funny, I was on the phone with the Sagittarius earlier too, but um, the thing for you guys may be structure. I think it's going to be a lot of fire. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity and a lot of wonderful days coming up in January coming up in 2017 but you may be sticking to a system of doing thing of things a way of doing things and that's just what i feel i keep getting that card and you know you're really going to be grounded um coming up in uh january of 2017 sagittarius grounded to um even though you're wild you're free you're going to be moving around and and um, oh, I just saw another card that really does speak of um, committed, grounded actions. You're really going to commit to the things that you want to see happen. And you're going to have a grounded approach. You know, a lot of times, Sagittarius, is, I, you are grounded because you get things done. I, I think, I don't think it's fair to say Sagittarius is aren't grounded but you can get off track just like any other sign but when you're determined you're determined so i i feel like you're gonna bring some really really mental groundedness to your determination to make the things that you want happen um in 2017 now this is a love and a romance reading uh, i almost forgot what we're gonna do i was gonna switch it up a little bit for you guys but I guess we'll stick to what we know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you uh, I'll give you about five Rider weight cards. I'm going to give you three romance cards, and then I'll give you one past lifetime card. Sorry it's taking me so long, guys. I'm trying to hurry this up, but because I did a reading, I do have to shuffle these cards. The past lifetime deck should be pretty shuffled, but I'm going to give them a good shuffle again, and then I'll shuffle the romance. But anyway, so let's just talk. So anyway, Sagittarius, you guys are making things happen, but you're doing it from, from a more uh, grounded approach. So you may have been thinking back, reflecting on things you kind of need to change, and I think that's coming up honestly for everybody in 
2017. You're thinking of things you need to change. You, you're thinking of ways you can be more effective. You can do things more effectively and kind of not settling Sagittarius, you know, and, and what I kind of mean by that is you may find yourself being a little beside yourself. And I think people are looking, stepping outside of themselves to look at themselves. And yes, Sagittarius are ruled by Jupiter. You always have a lot of self confidence, but sometimes we really got to take a look at the self to understand why we may not be seeing certain improvements, whether it's the love life. If you really want um, a love relationship, yeah, you guys are outgoing. You may have the career things going and be getting what you want on certain levels. I mean, things do seem to come through for a lot of Sagittarius. But when it comes to love, I would say you really have to look at yourselves and the part that you play and what you bring to the table in your relationships to understand why you've gotten some of the results that you've gotten, Sagittarius. And I would say that's a theme for a lot of people in relationships because this is a love and romance reading. So that is a theme for a lot of the relationships um, going into January of 2017. So let me just shuffle this last deck and then we will get going. There's some special... I usually don't keep a television on in the background of these readings, but there's some special on a TV about the Jacksons, which looks pretty interesting. I'll have to catch it another time. And, you know, guys, it's so funny. Again, be careful who you go to in the YouTube community. If you're interested in a reading, hit me up at tarothelpnow at gmail.com. You could hit me up at frequencyrealradio at gmail.com or madamxhouseofcards at gmail.com. Um, I had the PayPal links below. They just take you to an invoice. Once you put all your information, any notes and messages that you want to send me, it comes to my email. I respond back. I'll schedule you for a reading. Um, most readings, I well, all readings I get scheduled within 24 hours. So I'll contact you back within 24 hours to schedule your reading. And perhaps the only right reason I wouldn't do that is if your email went somewhere and I didn't see it. That has happened. It's got tossed into a spam folder or something like that so if it takes me a few days to get back to you that would be the reason why but I check those emails every day so I would get back to you within 24 hours for readings and if you need an emergency reading which is like so I get back to you within 24 hours and the weed schedule when it's convenient for you so like the next day out or whatever the case it doesn't take me a whole 24 hours to get back to you but that's the time I give myself because you never know where I am um, how many people I'm currently talking to. So I give myself that time limit to get back to you. And then we can schedule it that day or the next few days out, whatever's convenient for you. And then if you need a rush reading, which is same day, we can renegotiate the price. It wouldn't go up by much, maybe like five or 10 bucks for me to clear my schedule. If I can get you on for that same time of day, and then we can kind of go with the reading from there. But guys, be careful who you choose. I'm telling you, I don't understand it. I hear psychic... Well, not even people who are psychic, but spiritual people on here saying they're booked for readings. And they are like crazy. Like some of these people guys are crazy. I don't understand who you guys are going to to get readings and why you just trust anybody with your psychic readings or your tarot readings. I'm an empath. You know, I tap into feelings. I tune into feelings. And that is how I do my readings. So here we go. The first card you got out the gate is the High Priestess in reverse. It's the Rider Waite, so I am going to wear reversals. What's on your mind is the Four Cups in reverse. What you're coming from is the Hierophant Sagittarius. I just need some more room. What's below you is, oh, the Four of Swords. Oh, so you got a Four above and a Four below. Okay, and then what you're going towards is the Knight of Wands. And that's really funny. This Knight of Wands energy, Sagittarius, that could be you. And like I said, being more grounded, kind of slowing down. The Knight of Wands goes, goes, goes. But I feel like you're, ooh, you got the Knight of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Let's just keep that in mind. So like I said, I feel like you being grounded is some things that kind of cause you to go er, and come to a halt and not rush in so much as this knight of wands would so that's really funny that comes out and we kind of talked about that so for the romance uh deck is heart to heart conversations getting to know each other and trust and then for your past life tarot deck is the father so you may have some issues with the father you may um not have had your father growing up you may have some 
issues that you need to look back with the father and resolve those in order to really find if we're talking to a woman to find a good man in these love relationships and if we're talking to men to be a good man in your love relationships so Sagittarius with the high priestess in, in reverse um, I'm a cancer sign and I always regard myself as um, the high priestess in a lot of decks. I regard myself as the high priestess. I've been told, um, and even though I don't have a heck of a lot of fire energy in my chart, I've been told other people see me as the queen of wands. But I say this to say I relate to this high priestess card very closely. And I relate to a lot of Sagittarius. I've had really good, pretty much lifelong Sagittarius friends um, throughout my life. Not always the friends that I talk to every day and I see all the time, but it's like we always keep in contact and it's all good because Sagittarius is a very intellectual and we can identify as a cancer with Sagittarius is on that intellectual level and really understanding things, being um, wise and just having an understanding of different things. So with this um, high priestess in reverse, I feel like you guys are speaking your truth. You're letting a lot of things um, be known. And because when a high priestess is the right side up, you know, she is a very, very wise woman. She is the gatekeeper. She holds the knowledge in her hand. As you see, she has that tour. She holds that spiritual knowledge and she is the liaison between the light and the dark. And a lot of times, um, people say that that a uh, high priestess card can represent having that knowledge but not necessarily having to speak it, not having to shout it out. But with you being a Sagittarius, I feel like the high priest is in reverse. It means that um, you are going to be discovering more. So you're going to be going on it. You may find that in January, you want to be on a more spiritual level with some of the things. Now, this is romance, but I'm going to speak to whatever comes out in the cards. So whether this is um, love, family, relationships, romance, spirituality, whatever it is, we're going to talk about it. Job, we're going to talk about whatever comes out in the card. Because you got this getting to know each other. And I feel like a lot of this getting to know each other is also getting to know yourself. So when you relate this high priestess to love relationships, I feel like a lot of information is going to come out. You are going to be expressing who you are as you get to know somebody. So you may be meeting people, you may be dating, and even if you're already in a relationship with somebody, you are going to be rediscovering your partner. You are going to be coming to the table with certain truths about yourselves to say, and even if you're revisiting, and I you forgot this was over here, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, coming to the table. So this is for singles and for couples. If you're with somebody, you're going to be coming to the table, um, having heart-to-heart -heart conversations about where things, so you could be revisiting um, past relationships, ex-relationships, you know what I mean? Because the hermit kind of symbolizes, you know, having being gone into oneself self for a while so you may not have been dating you may ha have not been dealing with somebody that you used to deal with or someone that you used to know or used to be involved with and i feel like certain things may be coming back into your life sagittarius and it's really causing you to have to sit down and have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations about and this is even if this is not past relationships or exes coming back this is current relationships People, whoever your partner is, they want you to express what's really going on with yourself. They want to understand you better and they want to know you better. And if you, to understand where you're coming from and where the relationship is going. And if you're a Sagittarius who is operating from a higher level, a higher um, mindset, then you really want to get across to your partner who you are, your expectations, what you want out of the relationship. You want to do that as well. You want somebody else to know exactly where you're coming from and you want to understand where that other person Person is coming from so um you're not going to be holding everything in you're not going to hold in what you know you are not going to hold in you know don't tell everything as they say don't always let your right hand know everything your left hand is doing come on Sagittarius because you guys can be um you can let it all out sometimes but what you do want to do is express you do want to express what's really going on so that um a person knows who you are and they knows what you're about from the gate from the get-go because you don't want to go down the same path that, you, that you've gone with a lot of relationships. And if you have found that you're unable to have these conversations and you don't want to face certain truths and say certain things, now is the time. The hermit is in the past and the knight of wands is in the future. So what that means to me with that um, 
the high priest is sitting in the middle? Is there a lot of things that you've internally gone in inside yourself and thought about? You really pondered on a lot of things to get a deeper spiritual understanding, a deeper mental understanding. Yes, Sagittarius, you're a fire sign here. You're represented um, in this energy of the Knight of Wands fire sign card, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. But you've had to take a minute to go deeper within yourself to find a spiritual center to understand why your relationships have happened like they happened and why you've gotten to this place that you've gotten in your relationships. And as you come out of this hermit stage, that's why you have these cards, heart-to-heart -heart conversations and getting to know each other. And that's why the high priestess is in reverse. Because it's a time to talk about things. It's to talk about your innermost, deepest feelings. It's to make spiritual connections with people. If there's somebody you're interested in, is if there's a partner, if there's an ex if that is worth taking this time for, if there's somebody that has come into your life that you want to get to know, it is time to come out of this place and talk about these things and put into action some of these things that you've discovered about yourself, that you know about yourself, because it has been a long, hard journey for a lot of signs. It has been a hard journey for a lot of signs, and we've all had to introspectively go inside ourselves and ask, what the hell do we want? Where have we gone wrong? Saturn has really come back to teach um, people some lessons and ten then to ask them to account for what they've learned over these few years. And like I said, as you have these conversations with people, you're going to be kind of measuring it by a measuring spoon. You're going to be kind of taking it slowly. You're not going to be rushing into every little thing, every single thing. The night usually rushes. It's a travel card. It's a card of going places and doing things. So Sagittarius, with this in reverse you may find that some of your travel plans have been canceled maybe some assignments that you had that uh, cause you to go a distance that call, that may cause you to travel that may require you to travel you may have um, found that things have kind of come to a halt some of that fire um action a lot of action things are slowing down a little bit in january which is a good thing because it's giving you time to get to know some people intimately because you've gotten to know yourself and it's just really going to cause you to take your time with um the conversations that you have and the moves that you make in january it's not going to be about a rush action it's not going to to be about rushing into things because you know you've been through this time now you got the four cups in reverse and what's when your mind is not being satisfied not being satisfied with anything that is on the table to be offered not now when it's upright not being satisfied with these three cups down here and then not being even satisfied with what's there so it's uninterest in this boredom but i feel like with the four of cups in reverse you're having some interest come back into your love life you you want to be in a relationship again. You want to be with somebody again. If you're in a relationship, you want to feel that love again. You want to rejuvenate it and you want to revive it. With the four cups in reverse, it's like things are moving. Emotions are flowing. His eyes are almost, they can focus on that cup that's being offered. He wants to be um, back in love again. He wants to experience, experience and express these emotions again because what you have with you, what you've already been doing is you've been at a rest. You've taken a time out. You may have even had some illnesses and some sicknesses or maybe that was your partner or some things that you feel have really been weighing down on you, issues and burdens. And I definitely feel like that's the case when it comes to your love life because that's what caused you to go within yourself. This is what was with you. This is what you're coming from. So these two it kind of goes hand in hand, like taking a rest, taking a time out to really get yourself together spiritually, emotionally, and on all levels with the hermit. You know, realizing you got to close out this old cycle of mistrust, whatever abuses you may have been through, whatever, whatever traumatic experiences when it comes to love and relationships. And when I say when we talk about love and relationships, guys, we're talking about um, love and romance, family, kids, all of that. Take these readings. Many people are watching. You take the readings and you apply them to how they work for you. You um, apply the information to how it uh, correlates to you. And if you don't, I feel like if you're a Sagittarius, you're going to identify with what I'm saying in this reading. Um, I try to keep it general for many different um, Sagittariuses that may be watching. But if you um, find that you don't identify, watch your rising and your moon as well. I also watch Venus sometimes. I feel like if you watch your sun, your rising and your moon, it's enough to cover. So you don't necessarily have to watch your Venus unless you're really not getting a picture or it's sketchy. Then I will go watch my Venus. Um, I also 
also would watch, I would watch whatever you have um, planet heavy signs in as well. Like I have um, Virgo is my fourth house. I have a heavy fourth house. I have like three planets, at least three. I may have four in my fourth house and they're very important planets. I have Saturn there, I have Jupiter and um, da, 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 da. I believe I have Mars there too. So I go watch Virgo sometimes depending on what I get from the other readings. So, but I feel like um, I keep these general enough and I tap into the energy of Sagittarius enough for you guys to pick up something in this reading that applies to you. But the point is take the information in the reading and apply it to the certain situations um, to your life. Don't so take it word for word, but apply it to how it fits so whether that's romance career family all of that you know you spend a lot of your time at work so that could come up in love and relationship readings and of course it's about romantic relationships kids because we have love for our kids and love for our family and things like that so you guys are just coming from a rest period where you're coming out wanting to be active when it comes to your love and relationships and the things that you're um, passionate about because you've taken the time to go inside and really think about what you want what you want to do and what you what okay so my video cut off my phone was saying low battery so i'm just gonna have to edit these two clips together but i feel like you guys are coming out of a time of rush you're coming forth and you're gonna be communicative about what you want what you really want to do in your relationships going forward because you've been there you thought about things you really went inward to think about what you want what you're gonna accept what you're not gonna accept and where you want to see yourself from here and you just want to have trust, have trust that the people that are coming to your life are good people, that you are um, getting the karma back that you put out. So if you put good karma out, Sagittarius, the people that are coming into your life now are going to be good people that you can trust. But first you have to trust in yourself. I really feel like the Hermit card is much about trusting the self. That is why he is alone on this journey. He um, is walking this long, long journey where he may not have necessarily stopped to shower he is not shaving necessarily to maintain a look because it is all an inner spiritual journey it's about letting go of um, certain comforts letting go of certain things so that you can go deeper so that you can go deeper into this spiritual light into this spiritual star into this meditative state where you really see what's important in life and what's important to you but you got to have trust and uh crown in the deck at the bottom of the deck was a knight of swords in reverse so this could either represent a person in your life air sign energy gemini libra or aquarius be careful for that if it's it you know it's not upright so it says this person may be coming in if it's a person from the past or somebody that's coming in just watch out for that energy because they may not be coming in honest or upright so you may not be able to trust this person that's going to apply to a certain amount of a Sagittarius as you'll know if you're dealing with that kind of sign but I almost feel like this is your own energy trust yourself don't come out of the gate um, really being nasty or being hurtful, you know, resolve the past inner issues, Reso resolve the parental issues, resolve the relationships with your father, resolve those kind of relationships. Even if this is talking about the father of your children, there may be some Sagittarius out there who have children that you need to resolve um, the relationships with them. They may not be in your child's life. You may not have a close relationship to them. Your child may not have a close relationship to them. So I really feel like um Sagittarius need to resolve even if that person is not willing to come to the table admit some mistakes now number one with that hermit going inside you have to realize you're 50 percent part of every situation even when it comes to even if you say no but I did everything right I was the best person to this person and they still didn't do right you have to account for why you would deal with certain things and certain people and let certain things happen to you before you learn those lessons and move on or before you can even see certain things before you get into them and say, okay, this is not going to work out right. This is not for me. So I'm not going to have a child with this person. I'm not going to have unprotected sex with this person. I'm not going to proceed with this person because I'm not ready. That's the whole reason why you went inside Sagittarius so that you can have this trust for yourself to know what you want who you are and what you're not going to accept for other people. So now it's time to go in and heal these relationships. But just remember, people may come at you this way. Maybe that other person is really nasty. This could be nasty controlling communication. This person, when this knight of swords is knight of um swords is in reverse and look, this is like you in reverse and this person in reverse. So this is not a good combination. 
You don't want to have your fire energy in reverse and then have this Knight of Swords in reverse and having any combats or duels with these two type of cards. It's nasty. You're not going to win. This is a nasty person. Swords are very mental. They are mentally cunning. And well, the dark side of this energy here, they're mentally cunning and conniving. This knight also has an element of fire. So it knows how to fight fire with fire. And then on top of that, be very, very um, mentally astute, nasty, conniving, and cunning. So they can really go to battle with you. It's not a person that's going to back down. Um, this is a knight of wands, so it's like double fire. There's an element of fire to every knight's card. There's an element to air to every page, an element to water to every queen, and an element to... Uh, of earth in every um, king card. So with this is almost double fire. So you're really coming in heated, hot, and everything. Watch out for that. This is not the time for that. This is not the month for that. And if you go there with it and you handle things like that, you're going to take a loss. It's not going to be a win. You're going to take a loss and it's going to knock you off of the stable ground that you tried to build, the stable mental and spiritual place that you tried to build for yourself. It's going to knock you back and you don't want to do that going into 2017. It's not the time. You didn't go through all that you've been through just to get into this and set yourself back three, four, five, six steps. And the issues, the heart of a lot of these issues with why you're finding these type of men or women in your life, why you're having these type of issues, what's got you so angry, what's got you not being able to make peace and communicate and trust others are past fatherhood issues. So whatever's going on with your father, grandfathers, the line of men in your family, whether you're a man or a woman watching this, the line of men in your family, or the father of your child, or if you're a man, the role that you've played with the woman in your life and the children in your life, there may really be some things you need to go back, reevaluate, and work out before you can move on and have a successful romantic relationship. So guys, you know, I really, really watch you. Thank you for watching this reading um, this month. It was good to see you. Not in all of my glory because I did not do anything before I hopped on there. I can't even believe I got on camera um, today. But I really do thank you. If you want a reading, just shoot me an email at uh, tarothelpnow at gmail.com. All of that information is below in the description bar. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. You can have a beautiful 2017, especially a beautiful January. It's just going to depend on how you handle the situations that are coming at you, Sagittarius. You may just need to take a minute before you deal with, um anything take a moment and think it through your fire signs you're very action oriented but it's going to take some mental clarity so you can deal with the upright side the positive energies of these cards on the table drop me a line if you need to talk more drop me an email and Sagittarius let me know how things are going I wish you guys nothing but the best much love have a beautiful beautiful new year hope you guys had a very happy holiday and I'll see you on the other side of 2017 deuces